What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What no, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else, just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. You've got nothing to say about that, Lee? You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. But nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we need to get some food? Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. 
I'm starved. Thanks. I need to keep my strength up, too. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... Something... I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Fine. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? 